Here we have a 2019 Mini Cooper Countryman. Thank you to Steve Landers Toyota of Northwest Arkansas for allowing us to come out and film their vehicles today. If you're in the market for a new Toyota or any used vehicle, I'll link their inventory in the description. They're a great dealership and they'd love to take care of you. This one is the base model, the Jesta, as Mini Cooper people like to call it. This one is finished off in the really gorgeous moonwalk gray metallic color. This one's got the matching mirrors and top. Minis are known for doing white or black tops and with the John Cooper work, sometimes red. However, the uh, monochrome, all one color look looks really great right here. So we're gonna go around this vehicle and answer, is a base Mini really enough for you to have fun? and we will find out by the end of the review. So this one is a 2019, so it's the second generation of Countryman. You've got the base halogen headlights with a black insert. You can get some xenons or LEDs if you'd like. And down here we also have some fog lights. Black grille with the updated mini wings. You can see that it is just cut out here for the new more modern look. A sensor up top for automatic windshield wipers and Headlamps, really nice wheels right here. These are 18 inch wheels, oh sorry, 17 inch wheels. Brightly finished, look really nice. Got some silver going down, body cladding right there. And bright silver roof rails and a panoramic sunroof. No tint or privacy glass on this one. Back here it is Countryman spelled out along the back. Some people like it, some people don't. I think it looks really good across the back. Some black badging right there for the mini emblem. And because this is the three cylinder model, just one exhaust tip, um, not dual as if you had the S. And you've got rear parking sensors. Back here, opening up the big mini. You've got ample cargo space with a backpack there for reference. These seats fold down. You've got an aluminum skid plate to kind of protect the bumper of the Countryman extra um, tie downs right here with a power plug, LED lighting, underfloor storage, ample underfloor storage, and a cutout to shut the trunk down right there. And this really is a great looking compact SUV or crossover, or whatever you'd like to call it. But it does have a really great look as we're going around the vehicle. Opening up the hood of the 2019 Countryman is super easy. It follows the BMW style hood latch where you just pull once to open it up and once more to release the latch. Opening up the hood, you'll see the 1.5 liter twin power three cylinder turbo. It provides a lot of torque and a good amount of punch on the Countryman while returning 33 miles per gallon highway on this particular model. So it really is the best of both wor worlds, but if you'd like more power, there's always the S and the newly updated John Cooper works with over 300 horsepower. Coming inside the Countryman, you don't quite have smart key access, that is an option. So you just need to unlock the Countryman and you will be able to pull on the handle and get inside. Once inside, you're done with the key, just leave it in here. Put your foot on the brake and the start stop button will get a little bit brighter and you just push on the paddle for it to open up. Or start up, I mean. Once inside the Countryman, you're gonna find the familiar modern F-style chassis interior that a lot of minis are gonna have. Right here, you have the digital gauge cluster and you just press the onboard computer button to cycle through the different modes. So you've got off, distance to empty, average fuel economy, instantaneous fuel economy, average speed and your instantaneous speed. Pause there for a minute and it will get bigger. Over here you do have automatic headlights with fog lights and panel dim. All power windows and mirrors. Moving on to the steering wheel, you've got cruise controls right here with audio controls on the right with voice commands and Bluetooth. Moving along the middle, you do have a center touch screen that can be controlled by touch or with the controller down here. And so going into your media, you've got AM and FM, Bluetooth streaming as well as USB, and tone just goes through your different balance, fader, and treble settings. And you can go back to the home screen by pressing menu. 
Bluetooth telephone, any notifications you may have, Mini Connected for the smartphone app, and My Mini. This really lets you go in and look at all the different settings that you can custom tailor your vehicle to have. And so just going through the system settings here. And then to go back, you can either press back or rock it over to the left. The Mini Country Timer is super fun. That just kind of shows you what you've been, uh, how you've been driving. And so this one has been a street cruiser. Um, and then you can go through your Country Timer info to record as the Cliff Champ. Just a fun little game to play as you're driving around. Different driver profiles, vehicle status, technology in action, driving information, owner's manual and notes. The vehicle status is where you can measure your tire pressures, look at your engine oil level, your check control messages, service required, and if you need to schedule a call. Down here, you have six presets, and as you hover your finger over them, you can see uh, a preview of what they might be used for. Right here, you have single zone manual climate control with defrost recirculating and AC. Down here, the automatic start-stop, the start-stop button, and the traction control off. Using your automatic start-stop deactivation just allows the engine not to turn off at the stoplight. Um, and a clear sign right here that we are in a more base model Countryman is all of the blank switches around here um, and the manual climate control. But that doesn't affect the drivability of the vehicle, those are just interior features. Going down below we have a USB port with a power outlet, a little bit of storage, two cup holders, and that automatic transmission. Shifting into reverse does give a backup camera with a view of your uh, parking sensors right there. Shifting in and drive, you do have manual shiftability right here, but no paddles behind the wheel. Electronic parking brake as well as controls for that mini connected system. This is an adjustable armrest, so you can pull it up and kind of just stop it as it goes up for where you'd like it to be. And inside here, you've got a really cool plaid pattern. Upper trims can equip a wireless phone charger in here, but this model does not have it. Moving on, we do have automatic windshield wipers with rear wiper, uh, manual dimming rear view mirror, uh, panoramic sunroof that does tilt with this button right here. Tilt open, slide back. Really nice for summer nights when you're driving so it's not too hot with a sunshade right there. And moving along, you do have a nice sized glove box and everything about the Mini can be customized. So this little uh, trim panel in here can be a different color and everything else. A really cool feature of the modern Minis is the center instrument display, which is the LED lights that go around the Mini connected screen. As you can see right now, it is set up as a tachometer. So if you rev the engine, you can see it whir up and down like a tachometer. If we go to the basic display, that's where we see that. So we can choose the engine speed or different colors such as sky blue, sunrise yellow, sunset orange, cool pink, flashy green, and double red. If we go back into the event display, we can see that it changes for automatic start stop, heart beating for the security system, parking assistant, telephone, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, climate, tone, things like that. So when you adjust the music, it'll go up here just like that. When we adjust the temperature, you can see that it goes around. And so it's a really cool, fun feature that Mini has added to just kind of brighten up the interior and make this Mini just a little bit more fun. The back seat of the Countryman, or the Big Mini, as I like to call it, has a lot of storage space back here, as well as leg room. So you can see that there is ample space right there. Little power plug, or sorry, little storage space right here and two USB-C charge ports. And it would be unheard of to sit three across in the back of an original Mini. However, with the new space of the Countryman, it'd be pretty easy to go on a long, long road trip such as Mini Takes the States or another super fun trip in your Mini with all of your friends. And so the question stands, is the base Mini still enough? Well, if you're a Mini enthusiast, probably so. You're still gonna have the same driving dynamics just maybe down on a little bit more power. However, if you're coming from another more premium vehicle, you may want to look into a premium package or maybe the S model for more power or more features. 
However, for most consumers in the modern day, the base mini can be enough. But if you'd like those features like driver assistance tech, uh, heated seats, Apple CarPlay, navigation, things like that, I would definitely recommend looking at a higher spec model. And especially for those driver enthusiasts who like more power to check out the red roofed John Cooper Works models. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.